हेलो गाइस वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द मेन फार्माकोलॉजिकल ड्रग्स व्हिच यू मस्ट नो इन मेडिकल फील्ड्स एंड एज वेल एज ए सेकंड ईयर स्टूडेंट यू मस्ट नो अबाउट दिस ड्रग्स सो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद स्टेटिक्स स्टेटिन्स दीज आर द स्टेटिन्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर डिक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल मीन वी कैन डिक्रीज द कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल बाय गिविंग पेशेंट स्टेटिन्स वी हैव सम टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेटिन्स दीज स्टेटिन्स आर एट्रोवास्टेटिन we can see here these are some statins we have number 1 we have uh, atrovastatin number 2 we have pravastatin number 3 we have simvastatin rosuvastatin and lovastatin these are these are the statins which you must know and uh, the, uh, by which uh, by give these statins we can decrease the level of cholesterol in patient so uh, focus on main thing guys uh, this is the generic names of the drug we are discussing about the generic names of the drug uh, drugs is having the two types of name generic name and uh, brand names so we are not discussing about the brand names we are discussing about the generic names of the drug so now uh, again after the statins we are discussing about the ace inhibitors angiotensin uh, converting enzyme inhibitors these uh, ace inhibitors are used for decrease the blood pressure in patient so we can use some types of uh, ace inhibitors these ace inhibitors can be captopril lisinopril and ramipril so now if we talk about the side effect of these ace inhibitors so the main uh, side effect of patient of ace inhibitors is seen uh, unproductive cough in our patient unproductive cough remember that captopril lisinopril and ramipril these are the uh, most commonly uh, Use drugs which are uh, give to the patient in combination with diuretics. Diuretics uh, for uh, diuretics are most commonly used for eliminate uh, the excess water from out of the body. So these are the AC inhibitors. AC inhibitors we can uh, learn them that uh, these uh, ends with pril. Means um, drugs which ends with pril are. Uh, ac inhibitors so we can remember them all pril are ac inhibitors okay captopril lisinopril ramipril statins are ends with statin so this is the trick and ac inhibitors most commonly available in combination with diuretics and this diuretic is known as uh, most commonly is hctz means hydrochlorothiazide and uh, diuretics uh, are the drugs which eliminate excess water of Uh, out of body so most commonly uh, used uh, ac inhibitors with hctz is uh, lisinopril and hctz combination this is most preferred combination so now we are uh, discussing about the herbs herbs means uh, angiotensin receptor blockers these blockers are used for decrease the blood pressure means by giving herbs Uh, we can decrease the blood pressure so we have some groups of drugs like uh, sartan these herbs are ends with sartan we can see so herbs are lo sartan irbi sartan and olmi sartan so guys what we seen statins are ends with uh, statin ac inhibitors are ends with pril all uh, herbs are ends with sartan lo sartan irbi sartan olmi sartan and uh, we can give these uh, low certain drugs with hctz now again this is the hctz like this and uh, this is the combination which is preferred for decrease the uh, blood pressure now we are discussing about the calcium channel blocker calcium channel blocker they also uh, reduce the blood pressure for example example of calcium channel blocker is uh, amylodipine and nifedipine now again proton pump inhibitor uh, guys proton pump inhibitor these are the and drugs uh, which ends with prazol we can see them prazol or prazol old drugs which are ends with prazol or we can say old drugs which are having the suffix like prazol they are the proton pump inhibitors we can use them in conditions like acid reflux or gerd gerd means gastroesophageal reflux disease and zes zollinger ellison syndrome in these three conditions we can use proton pump inhibitors example omeprazole pentoprazole rebiprazole lenzoprazole deflenzoprazole and esomprazole so now starting with six point antifungal drugs we have some antifungal drugs like uh, fluconazole or ketoconazole so most commonly used drug 
as antifungal drug that is fluconazole that is uh, most commonly used and ketoconazole is not most commonly used why because uh, uh, this is uh, not available in tablet form because uh, already in market there is available form of ketoconazole is shampoo so we can uh, we will we will not use uh, tablet form of ketoconazole now h2 blocker h2 means histamine 2 blocker so we have uh, histamine 2 blocker we also uh, use them for acid reflux or gerd remember guys gerd and jds these proton pump inhibitors are the drug of choice remember drug of choice for proton pump inhibitor that is the uh, drug of choice for acid reflux gastroesophageal reflux disease and jollinger ellison syndrome so for these conditions we have drug of choice that is uh, proton pump inhibitors like prazole and uh, if you don't have uh, proton pump inhibitors now you can give h2 blockers like uh, we have some drugs which ends with tridin these tridin can be famotidin ranitidin cimetidin we have uh, loxatidin nisatidin we have so much tridin so and one uh, one main thing that you must remember cimetidin we now it is nowadays we we will not give cimetidin to the patient because this is the uh, um, because this is this causes the gynecomastia in our patient gynecomastia in our patient why uh, remember guys uh, in uh, next video we will see that we have five drugs that is known as trick by trick disco drugs these disco drugs and this c is cimetidin so cimetidin are the drug uh, these disco drugs are causes gynecomastia that's why we will not give to the patient so because this ends with tridin so so we write here that this is h2 blocker but this cimetidin not used nowadays okay so we have two tridin uh, famotidin and uh, ranitidin which we can use and ranitidin this is this has been taken off from the market isko market se jo hai nikal liya gaya ab aaj ki tarikh mein hum famotidin nizatidin aur loxatidin ko use kar sakte hain agar aapke paas ppis nahi hai agar aapke paas proton pump inhibitor nahi hai to aap h2 blockers ko use kar sakte hain ulcer ki condition mein ya gastroesophageal reflux disease ki condition mein now histamine blockers histamine blockers uh, we can see that uh, they uh, they relieve the allergy symptoms if a patient is uh, suffering from some type of allergy like runny nose so we can give histamine blockers these histamine blockers ends with din remember guys these histamine blocker ends with din h2 blocker ends with tridin and histamine blocker ends with din remember that like loratidin we can see loratidin we can see fexo phenidin fexofenidin these are ends with din so these are histamine blockers okay uh, now third uh, drug which we have like uh, diphenhydramine diphenhydramine okay nine point so now we have some uh, drugs like acetamines and we, this is the combination of drug acetaminophen and we, uh, along with tramadol this tramadol is belongs to category 4 so this is the combination of drug of acetaminophen and tramadol brand name of this drug is ultraset remember guys brand name of this drug is ultraset okay now now, uh, now let us know the about the acetaminophen if you talk about the uh, short form of acetaminophen that is apep we can see here short form of acetaminophen that is apep okay and if you talk about short form of aspirin that is asa remember guys okay so now uh, we are discussing about some more drugs we have uh, class 4 tramadol uh, and these are the guys this is uh, generic names of the drug we can use a uh, different color for this okay these are the generic names of drug and these are the brand names of the drug okay so now we have tramadol tramadol is uh, of fourth class category that is known as uh, ultram as brand name okay now we have oxycodone apep oxycodone uh, combination with apep so we can uh, these are the doses which are 5 by 3 uh, 25 mg doses of oxycodone and 10 by 3 25 doses by apep and these are the second category drugs and brand names of these drugs is percoid per uh, percoset okay oxycodone uh, with ir means immediate release form 
if we want immediate release form of oxycodone then we can use uh, category 2 drugs these are uh, don't the, uh, they don't have any brand name for ir form or for immediate release form and if we have extended release form of oxycodone then uh, we have some brand names like these brand names can be oxycontin and extempza and they are not interchangeable means they cannot change with each other okay now we have if we have uh, oxymorphone if we have oxymorphone uh, class 2 category then we can use okay one second some problem okay uh, if you have class second category oxymorphone then we have brand names that is opana and if you have uh, morphine that is uh, immediate release form so you don't have uh, any brand name for this and if you have morphine which is extended release form that you have brand name ms contin and if you have hydromorphone that is class 2 category then you have brand name that is uh, dilavidid now again we are discussing with oxymorphone class 2 category we have opana we already seen here and if you have uh, morphine immediate release form then no brand here and extended release form ms contin and hydromorphone class 2 category you have uh, diluted uh, diluted uh, brand name remember guys these are the generic names of the drug and these are the brand names of the drug these are the generic names of the drug and these are the brand name of the drug okay so now we are discussing about the 10th category of the drug that is antibiotics what are the antibiotics these are the antibiotics like we are uh, just uh, taking one example for of penicillin penicillin we have short form of penicillin that is pcm remember guys uh, we have pcm pcm means paracetamol if you uh, if you see anywhere uh, pcm that is uh, paracetamol but if you see anywhere uh, pcn that is penicillin so don't confuse with each other okay now let us uh, find the example of penicillin we have two examples uh, amoxicillin and amoxicillin actually we have a lot of example of penicillin but now we are taking two examples two main examples which are ends with cillin which are ends with cillin so penicillin ends with cillin like amoxicillin and penicillin okay and now uh, antibody similar to penicillin uh, we have some more antibodies which are similar to penicillin that is uh, cephalosporin cephalosporin and ceph d new so now uh, we have we have more antibodies that is uh, ciprofloxacin and if we talk about the brand name of this this is cipro and levofloxacin brand name is levokin ofloxacin brand name is uh, floxacin azithromycin brand name is zithromax this is important guys so you must remember about zithromax this is important so now uh, after the azithromycin we can see erythromycin we have and this erythromycin uh, this erythromycin having the brand name that is uh, erythrocin so zithromax uh, zithromax uh, by doctors as prescribed as uh, jetpack so uh, most commonly this is known as about uh, like jetpack we can take other color jetpack okay so jetpack we have uh, mm, azithromycin uh, prescribed by the doctors as jetpack so we have uh, how how can we give azithromycin to the patient we can give azithromycin uh, for five days uh, with six total tablets so we are giving six total tablets within five days two medications of azithromycin are taken day one as a single dose so uh, by one day we will give two medications uh, morning and evening by single dose so and further uh, next four days we will give patient to the one tablet so that's why that's uh, all about the six tablets of the azithromycin which are given in the period of five days so now we have other common uh, antibiotics we can see them that is ciprofloxacin if you have ciprofloxacin then you can we already seen that uh, brand name is cipro levofloxacin brand name is levaquin ofloxacin brand name is floxin and uh, floxin and if you have a uh, sulfamethazone uh, combination with trimethorphine then you have uh, two type of uh, brand names bactrim uh, if you have if you want dose of 40 400 milligram dose of if you want dose of 400 milligram dose of sulfamethazone 
and uh, 80 mg dose of trimethorphan then you will do, uh, then you will use the name uh, brand name that is bactrim if you want the dose uh, if you want the dose of uh, sulfamethazone that is uh, sulfamethazone that is 800 and if you want the dose of trimethorphan that is 160 mg if you uh, want these dose then you will uh, use bactrim ds uh, this is the brand name okay now we are starting with nitrofuro Nitrofurantoin. Nitrofurantoin also uh, having the two brand names that is uh, Macrobid and that is Macrodentin. Now Azithromycin. Azithromycin uh, is having, we already seen that is having the uh, prescribed as Jetpack and it is having the brand name that is uh, Jethromax. Okay. Now Erythromycin. Erythromycin it, uh, that is brand name is Erythrocin and Metronidol, Metazole brand name is Flazil. Uh, for doxycycline hydrate uh, brand name is uh, brand name of it that is uh, vibramycin and for doxycycline monohydrate that is uh, monodox brand name that is okay uh, if you talk about uh, doxycycline now we are discussing about two more uh, groups that is doxycycline if we talk about doxycycline and uh, doxycycline and metronidazole okay so now for doxycycline we have two types of doxycycline we already seen here so these are the doxycycline doxycycline hydrate and doxycycline monohydrate so we already seen this is the uh, brand name of uh, fibromycin is the brand name of doxycycline hydrate and monodox is the brand name of doxycycline monohydrate remember that now we are discussing another group metronidazole metronidazole is having the brand name uh, of drug that is flazil Flazil is the brand name of metronidazole. So, uh, if patient is uh, taking alcohol, so we will not prescribe metronidazole to the patient. And after uh, stopping alcohol, uh, up to three days after stopping alcohol, we can give uh, metronidazole to patient because uh, uh, without stopping alcohol, if you give metronidazole, then there is a risk of life-threatening reactions. So, we will not take risk. So after three days of stopping alcohol, then we will give metronidazole. Now coming to the thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Uh, uh, if you want to give uh, thyroid hormone replacement therapy, you can give to the patient levothyroxine. Guys, this is the levothyroxine uh, which used as for replace the thyroid hormone. How we can give this drug, we will uh, see in next video. So now again discussing about the beta blockers. This is important for. Uh, some type of cardiac patients is important so now remember these are the drugs which ends with lol yes this ends with lol all drugs are ends with lol so all drugs which are ends with lol these are the beta blockers like we have some drugs like atinolol metoprolol succinate metoprolol tartrate remember guys metoprolol succinate is having the uh, uh, it is uh, acting the long acting and metoprolol tartrate is the short acting how can you remember succinate uh, succinate as but uh, i uh, i think uh, this is not uh, appropriate but we can see that uh, succinate for short acting uh, but uh, this is not short acting this is long acting we can see and metoprolol tartrate is short acting now if you talk about the brand name of these drug atenolol is having the brand name uh, teno tenormin and metoprolol succinate having the brand name Toprol XL and Metoprolol Tartar is having the low pressure brand name and Bezoprolol we have Propanolol and we have Nebilo, uh, Nebiolol, Nadolol we have uh, Carbidilolol if you talk about uh, brand name of uh, Bezoprolol that is uh, Monocore uh, G Beta or we have uh, Inderal for uh, Propanolol we have uh, Bistolic brand name for uh, Nebivolol we have Corgarg uh, brand name for Nadolol, we have Corag brand name for Carvedilol. Now we are discussing about the antidepressant. Antidepressant drugs which are uh, used by the depression uh, for the patient uh, which is suffering from any type of depression. So we can give some type of drug. What are the drugs we can give? These are the uh, these drugs are the means we can say antidepressant drugs are ends with tin. Yes, this is the trick. So we can see that uh, antidepressant drugs are ends with tin. For example, we have uh, fu fuoxetine and we have proxy tin. 
now we are discussing about the brand name so brand name of this drug fluxotin brand name is having uh, fluxotin brand name is uh, prozac and pexil is the brand name for uh, proxy 10 now remember guys we cannot confuse pexil with plevix we cannot confuse pexil with plevix because uh, plevix yes because plevix is the brand name for clopidogrel and pexil is the brand name for proxy 10 so remember don't confuse here so we have other most commonly antidepressant drugs uh, we have generic names One second. okay uh, we have some um, we have generic names like uh, citalopram Gen uh, brand name is uh, Calexa and we have uh, Estoloplam that is uh, Lexapro we have uh, Elavil uh, brand name for uh, Amitriptyline and uh, we have brand name uh, Pamilar for Nortriptyline we have uh, Zoloft brand name for Sertraline we have uh, Velbutrin Excel or we can say Jaiman for smoking suggestion if you want to uh, patient that uh, patient is uh, taking smoking or patient is taking cigarettes so much so we can uh, give smoking suggestion like Jaiban group of drugs which are bupropion this is the generic name and Jaiban is the brand name okay now let's come with the benzodiazepines these benzodiazepines are very helpful for us or we can say benzodiazepines are very helpful for anxiety patient these are the uh, category 4 drugs generic names uh, of uh, benzodiazepines first we look towards the suffix of the drug we can see palm we can see palm palm every drug is having the suffix palm lam so these are the benzodiazepines so how can we remember all palm drugs are uh, benzodiazepines remember guys brand names uh, for second year student so not so much important so you can remember them you can remember uh, first you should remember about generic names uh, as you remember uh, generic names then if you want to know about brand names then you can study so you must know about generic names but you should know about uh, brand names also so you must about know about generic names so we have benzodiazepines for example uh, we have uh, lorazepam we have diazepam we have clonazepam we have timazepam we have uh, alprazolam and we have trazolam okay and if you talk about brand names of these drugs that is ativan that is uh, valium that is uh, clonopin that is uh, restoril that is genax that is halcyon okay now coming to the next group of the drug uh, these are the antiviral drugs antiviral drugs ends with or we can say antiviral drugs is having suffix vir all drugs are having suffix vir so we can uh, easily identify that this drug is having the suffix vir means this is antiviral drugs okay now we are we can see that uh, acyclovir we can see femcyclovir we can see uh, well as cyclovir we can see oseltamivir so these are the antiviral drugs and these are the brand names of these drugs that is uh, Jovirex, that is Femvir, that is Valtrex, that is Tamiflu. So what we remember, so uh, we can see one thing, let us think about, we can see, okay, now we can remember in one point, what we, uh, we can summarize these all things, okay now first statins all statins ends with all statins group of drugs ends with statin we can see all statin group of drugs ends with statin okay now second group of drug ace inhibitors ace inhibitors ends with pril these are the suffix or ends by which we can identify the these drugs we have arbs inhibitor angiotensin receptor broker uh, blockers that is uh, sartan the they ends by the name of sartan number four we have calcium channel broker calcium channel broker uh, we have some uh, dipin we can see these are calcium channel blocker ccb this is the short form and these ends with dipin we can say number five we have ppi proton pump inhibitor always remember they are uh, ends these drugs are end with prazole you can easily remember number six we have antifungal drugs antifungal drugs like fulcoconazole or ketoconazole 
so mostly these uh, these drugs are antifungal drugs. mostly these drugs are ends with zol or conazole but not all the drugs because some drugs we have uh, without conazole but mostly they are uh, conazole so we can remember and now h2 blockers if you talk about h2 blocker then we have suffix that is tidin tidin you can easily remember them and number eight if you have uh, remember guys disco drug this is the disco drug and all these disco drugs are causing gynecomastia in patient so cimetidine is not used now and if you talk about uh, histamine blocker so now we want to do histamine blocker so we have we have suffix like din but uh, as i said that all drugs are not uh, ends with din some uh, drugs uh, are not having suffix like we have we already seen here uh, diphenhydramine so you must also remember that name so number nine point you have uh, acetaminophen along with tramadol brand name we can see uh, ultraset remember guys apap that is short form of acetaminophen and asa that is short form of aspirin you should remember that and uh, you also remember about the ultraset that is a uh, combination of uh, acetaminophen and tramadol and that is brand name so you have some uh, generic and brand names also you can also remember them and if we talk about antibiotics number 10 we have antibiotics for example if you have pcn that is penicillin and if you have pcm that is paracetamol so we are not uh, using this paracetamol here we are uh, we are discussing about the pcn that is penicillin these are ends with silin this is the suffix now number 11 we are discussing about the uh, doxycycline doxycycline we can see these are the drugs which ends with hydrate so if you've seen uh, any uh, drug which ends with hydrate so you can see that is you can remember that is uh, doxycycline uh, we are discussing about doxycycline drug we can remember number 12 we have uh, metronidazole that is brand name is flazil this is important this brand name is important flazil so you also remember about this number 13 which you must know that is thyroid hormone replacement that is levothyroxine uh, levothyroxine uh, how levothyroxine works we will discuss in uh, further video so this is not our topic now so now we are discussing about beta blocker beta blockers are important you can how can you remember beta blockers are controlling heart rate or controlling high blood pressure means patient is having high blood pressure or high uh, heart rate then we can give beta blockers these beta blockers are ends with lol lol like uh, propanolol etinolol metoprolol bisoprolol we have so much prolol we can give to the patient now we are discussing about uh, antidepressant drug antidepressant drug uh, we have antidepressant drug so we have uh, suffix that is 10 and uh, for benzodiazepines if we talk about benzodiazepines so we, uh, we have uh, drugs which ends with palm that is uh, lorazepam diazepam these are the benzodiazepines now last antiviral drugs if you talk about antiviral drugs the uh, these overall ends with vir means like a cyclovir uh, femi cyclovir or well uh, cyclopir or ostel uh, ostel uh, we can see ost ostel tummy okay so these are the suffix by which we can remember all these drugs and uh,